What is up YouTube? Old Shaman here and today I'm actually going to be doing a comic book collection for you all and before I start this video I would just like to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I really do appreciate the fact that I reached this milestone so quickly on this channel. I did not think I could ever do something like this and I would just have to say the manga and anime community is freaking fantastic. Definitely got to give my shouts out to a lot of really cool and awesome manga and animated related people here on YouTube. But anyways, so today I'm actually going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing a comic book collection for you all. And I know I wanted to focus my channel more coordinated on uh, manga and animated related content or more or less anime related content rather than uh, comics and video games and that kind of stuff as there are plenty of channels that cater to that sort of thing. But anyways, today I just felt that my collection is at a pretty good standpoint where it's at right now and I feel that uh, it's appropriate to kind of showcase my collection and my love for Batman as uh, I really am a big fan of Batman. It's probably one of my favorite all-time series. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. Like I said, if you guys really do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, you know, check out some of my other videos. I definitely have a wide range of manga and anime related content and, you know, some other stuff that is in the works as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Thank you guys again for watching. Peace out. Alrighty guys, so what we have here is our new 52 lineup. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in because I have a lot to get through. My personal thoughts on New 52, I really did enjoy it. I really do like some of the story arcs that were told for Batman in this story. Personally, I did really enjoy New 52. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm just going to kind of show you guys the covers, starting off with 52. I apologize if the lighting gets awful um, because I'm in a really awkward place right now that has really bad lighting. So I'll be fixing that here soon, eventually. Yeah, so 49, 48, 47. That is 44, a really cool cover right there. Scott Snyder is one of my favorite Batman writers, personally. And Capullo did some really awesome uh, art artwork in here. Issue 40 is a really awesome cover as well. The final issue of Endgame, which was really cool. Return of the Joker, really awesome Superman cover right there. Justice League with Batman. 34. The infamous Zero Year. 32. 30. They did these really, really awesome uh, zero year covers as well for the arcs. And then 28, that is the first chapter of Eternal, which was good. I really did enjoy inter inter uh, Internal as well. Uh, 27, 26. Really awesome. This is probably, again, one of my favorite covers the matte black uh, issue 25. The construction of the Batman. Really awesome, these covers as well. New 52 I thought was really well done. The ending was a little uh, sort of shaky, but overall I thought it was pretty good. A lot of these covers are really awesome. Issue 18, really cool cover. Death of the Family, another really interesting story arc, really awesome. Scott Snyder did a really awesome job with this one. Fourteen. Thirteen. And this is a really cool one. I would open this up if I could, but that would be a little bit of a hassle. Essentially, this is a fold-out cover. When you uh, open it up, you can actually unfold this and you get a picture of Batman, which is really awesome. Really cool that they did that. I really thought that was a really cool idea. Issue 12. The conclusion to the Court of Owls. Really awesome story arc. Lasted over a year and uh, was well deserving of it. Issue 10. 9. Variant. 8. Um, I believe this one is a first print and then this one's a second, although I could be wrong about that. 
Um, I'm not really sure how I acquired these two. I know I bought one when it first came out, and then I think I acquired another issue eight through a lot on eBay. Could be wrong about that though, not really sure. Issue seven, that one's damaged unfortunately. Issue six, really cool cover. Five, four, they had the old, this was the last issue to have the classic DC logo on there. I really shouldn't say classic, more or less the like fourth or fifth logo. They've changed DC's logo so many times. And then uh, issue three, and again, a really awesome cover. Issue two. And then the infamous issue one. This is my original copy that I got day one when this first came out. Really proud to own this. This is a first print. November 2011. Hard to believe that this series is that old. And then a issue zero, which was kind of cool. Sort of kind of kick-started the whole uh, zero year in a way. But yeah, really awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and get to the next stack. All right, continuing further, we have our Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. This was a really well done series, and I really did enjoy it. Uh, the story was pretty enjoyable, and overall really awesome. The artwork especially was really, really great. So we have is issue six, five, four, three, two. This is a third print. Unfortunately, I don't have a first print of these series. Uh, the rest is all first print, but these two issues are third prints, unfortunately. I plan to replace these, get first prints, but for now, third prints. They are really cool covers. I really do enjoy the sketch covers. And then now we have the Dark Knight 3 Master Race. I'm sort of sad that I haven't really gotten the last couple of books, and I'm just really disappointed that I haven't continued the story. I know absolutely nothing at this current point, and I've been trying to get to the comic store to, you know, pick them up. But I've just been super, super busy lately. But anyways, uh, book four, really awesome cover. The new Catwoman, or Batgirl, whichever one it is. <laughs> it's been a while since I picked these up. The really cool, and that was book six, by the way. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, book five, Batman, Superman, that's always cool. Book four. Three. Covers are really well done. I really do love Frank Miller. Frank Miller again is a one of my one of the prime examples for Batman. Really awesome. Book two. This is a variant for book one. It's signed as well. Got that for a fairly cheap price. It was a really awesome uh, pickup. I really don't even know how I found that. And then a first print for book one. Awesome cover. And then we have the original. Uh, Dark Knight, and that is awesome. Dark Knight Falls, that's issue four. Issue three, that one's pretty beat up. Found that at a garage sale. A book two, and then the wonderful Dark Knight Returns. On to the next stack. Alrighty, so everything here is actually going to be pre-New 52 stuff. So just to kind of clarify, uh, after all that, that's all, you know, of course Dark Knight Master Race isn't considered canon with the initial Batman universe. That isn't considered New 52. Uh, so anyways, these are not New 52. This is the original kind of Batman storyline before it was kind of thrown all out the window. We're going to start off with Battle for the Cow, a really, really cool side series that was done. It was a three-issue series. This was sort of based around the plot of when Batman was presumed to be dead. Spoilers. But of course, this storyline is no longer consistent with the canon of the current Batman. So really, you don't need to worry about any of this. But some really cool covers here, you know. Got the uh, Red Hood Batman suit. Really awesome. One of my favorite covers of all time, we have that annual 25 for the initial run for Batman. Really cool cover, I really do love this one. This is a, I believe this was the first print. The second print is really cool as well. I'd like to get a hold of that. 
Then finally, our original run of Batman, and that is 658. That is, I believe, the first Damian Wayne appearance. Could be wrong about that. Oh yeah, I am wrong. <laughs> 657. 656. 651. 650. 649, 48, 45. I'm going to be here all day if I just keep listing off the numbers. Uh, yeah, wow, the masking of the Red Hood. Really awesome. Jason Todd as the Red Hood. Really awesome cover. This is a second print, unfortunately. I don't have a first print. I might get one, of, one eventually. 637, Black Skull. Cool. Ah, this is the first appearance of Red Hood, issue 635. Well, I guess you could say the second appearance of the Red Hood, not counting the Joker when he was the Red Hood. But the second appearance of the Red Hood, really awesome. 634. 619. A alternate 619. And another 619. I believe I have all the cover variants for that. All right, next stack. Alrighty, in the next stack, I'm going to just kind of rush through these because this video is getting super, super long. 619, that is the last cover variant. 618, 17, 16. This is the Hush storyline, and boy, was the Hush storyline absolutely amazing. One of my favorite story arcs in Batman, hands down, really is probably my favorite story arc. And Jim Lee is my favorite Batman artist. That's 612. This is actually a fairly hard to find issue, and I think it's probably because of Superman, you know. <laughs> Any type of Batman versus Superman cover, it, it goes for a lot. And then 608, that is the beginning of Hush, and uh, really awesome. Jim Lee is one of my favorite artists, hands down. Alrighty, and now we go into the uh, Nightfall story arc. This is issue uh, 500, really cool. This is again is a fold-out cover, really awesome. I'm gonna just blast through these covers. Another fold out. This is the first print. The second print does not have this. Breaking of the bat. That was amazing. The artwork in Nightfall wasn't my favorite, but the story was well worth it. Definitely. Alrighty, and again, probably a, one of my favorite arcs in Batman, and that is the Death in the Family story. This was an infamous Batman story that was done basically to find out if Jason Todd would remain the main Robin. Basically, in a phone call a vote, they would vote and see if Jason Todd would stay alive, and he didn't. <laughs> Spoiler, right? Again, none of this is really in continuity anymore. The Jason Todd story is somewhat similar to the current Jason Todd story in the New 52 stuff, but overall is pretty different. So, yeah, Death in the Family. We have issue four, three. Not sure what a Nightfall issue is doing there. I guess that was supposed to be over here. I believe this is the beginning issue for Nightfall. Yeah, issue one. Issue three right there. Then we have issue two, one. Here we have is the infamous Todd McFarlane Batman cover, issue uh, 423. He, when he worked for Mar or Marvel, yeah, well, he did work for Marvel, but uh, when he worked for DC, and that was a very brief amount of time, he did Batman for a while. He did uh, year two, and then he did also a few covers for the initial run for Batman. Really, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite artworks for any cover, hands down, really cool. All right, and some randoms we have. Issue 328. Issue 10. 
Issue 10. Yeah, I wish I had an issue 10. That would be awesome. Trying to hide the price tag. I didn't pay $10 for these. Uh, I actually got these in like an eBay lot for a super cheap price. $319. Vengeance of Bane. Wow, what a amazing story arc as well. This is the first issue. This is, I think, like a second print. I couldn't afford a first print at the time, but I'll probably switch that out. The infamous Batman Killing Joke. Awesome, awesome, awesome. First edition, mint. Really glad I have this. It's definitely one of my prides in my collection. And then finally, Gotham by Gaslight. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will definitely be making sure that I keep you guys posted on my manga and anime related content. But I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy showing you guys my collection and what your overall thoughts are on it. So anyways, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and continue to watch. Anyways, have an awesome day and peace out.